Hi guys, day three of me being back at home. It is October 4th and I'm going to watch Under the Lake, which came out yesterday, but I don't know. I was tired and I was doing um, The Witch is Familiar yesterday. But um, here we go and this time I'm going to watch it on my TV instead of on my phone. I'll turn it up. I'm the doctor, and I save people. Here. Now, this is where your story ends. What is happening? Same old, same old. Just the doctor and Clara Oswald in the TARDIS. It'll be a minute. Doctor Who, all new, next, only on BBC America. The drum. Private Journal of Captain Jonathan Moran, 21st November 2119. We have located a craft of unknown origin on the lake floor. Visual scans in situ revealed nothing. So, we have brought the craft on board and myself and the crew will now investigate. Making sure it's not too loud. How did they miss this in the initial survey? Cass says it was buried. And then the currents of the water must have shifted the rubble around. Conversation needs to be had about who owns the spaceship. Can we stop calling it a spaceship? We don't know what it is. A case could be made that this is an asset, and my company has bought the rights to all that. Whoa. What's this? Lung, grab me a torch, will you? I just put it on subtitles. Even if not. Is that a Cyberman face? Can I go in? What is the uh, radiation count? Pretty much background level. Anything more, it would have shown up in the initial survey 20 years ago. If it's not safe, how come you can go in? How long do you think it's been down here? Oh, there's next to no corrosion. I've not seen technology like this. Please don't say on Earth. On Earth before? Maybe it's some kind of experimental craft that got left behind when they abandoned the site. Well, you think the army would just lose a prototype weapon? You're new to the military, aren't you, son? Cass says he might be right. He might have been here since the 1980s for the battle plan. It reminds me of the Satan Pit in Impossible Planet. I saw it, I don't know what I've done. It's dead. I just see. Are we in the fire? Are we safe out right here? Find the CO2 and put the fire out. It was you! You were messing about with the controls on that ship! Ah! Moran. We just saw you. He's. Oh, God. He's a. ghost. Under the Lake by Toby Whitehouse, or Whitehouse. What's wrong? You're not happy. Why aren't you 
what you have, they tell me. This is a lot like Satan Pit in Impossible Planet. Oh, hey, can we go back to that place where the people with the long necks have been celebrating New Year for two centuries? I left my sunglasses there. And most of my dignity. Why have you brought us here? Here being. Underwater. Some sort of base. Technology is 22nd century. Maybe military. Maybe scientific. Is there a crew? Must be somewhere. There's oxygen. I want another adventure. Come on, you feel the same? You're itching to save a planet, I know it. I think there was more to it than that. Whatever it was that happened pretty recently. Seven or eight hours ago. No body, sir. And they took provisions. Okay, so something or someone forced the crew to abandon the base. Maybe they went for a swim in the creepy flooded village outside. Oh yeah, you see, this is more like it. Oh, come on. Don't let me hang in. Look, told you. Crew. Hello, sailors. Friendly. Right. I did not expect that. Hands up who expected that. Wait, wait, wait. I don't think they're going to have this. I think they're just curious. It's not. Well, I mean, if I'm sure. Look at you, lovely chaps. What's happened to you then? Satan Pit, Lost Impossible Planet. And some of the Unquite Dead. Very nice. Wait, are they saying something? Okay, they now need to be arming themselves.
What are you? Who the hell are you and what are you doing here? This is Clara, and I'm the doctor. Sign like paper! Human. Well, if that's what it says. I'm Pritchard. This is Bennett. Oh, Donald. You're really a doctor. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> uh, I mean, um, you know, nice work. Tim Lunn, I signed for Cass. Tell me, what about those things out there? What are they? Why are they trying to kill us? Well, they're, uh, they're ghosts. They're not ghosts. Cass is saying, uh, thank you, but I actually don't need your help. I can speak, sign. Go ahead. Well, no, no, actually, I, I can't. It's been deleted. A semaphore. Someone gave me a selection of flags. One of the ghosts is our previous commanding officer. The other, uh, the moly guy, we, we don't know what he is. He's from the planet Tivoli. See? I told you he was an alien. Didn't I say that? Weird thing is, they're not violent. They're too cowardly. They wouldn't say boo to a goose. More like to give the goose their car keys and bank details. When did they first appear? Oh, did you see that spaceship in the hangar? Yeah, we found that on the lake bed. We just got it on board and one of the engines started up and then Moran got... Moran was killed. Then they appeared and pretty much straight away started trying to kill us. So we grabbed what we could and we were looking for somewhere to hide. And that's when we realised the ghost couldn't come in here. What is this place? It's a Faraday cage, completely impenetrable to radio waves and apparently whatever those things are, out there. So who's in charge now? I need to know who to ignore. That'd be me. Her. Actually, that would be me. I represent Vector Petroleum. We've obtained the mining rights to the oil. The oil? Where are we? Uh, this used to be a, a military training site. Uh, there was a, a dam overlooking it, but the dam burst and the valley was submerged. Then 20 years ago, we discovered a massive oil reservoir underneath it. Good morning. Entering day mode. Okay, it's morning. You can go out some time. Go for that. Last thing you get out of here. Morning? Yeah, uh, we're too far below the surface for daylight, so we have to do marcade artificial days and nights. Um, I'd like to have a look at that spaceship, but what about those things that aren't ghosts? No, it's alright, they only come out at night. Why how that is not comforting? Alliday Cage on the bed. Yeah, we're not just going. BBC America. If whatever they are, they are well, not ghosts. Have been trying to kill you. Why haven't you abandoned the base? That was my call. We've got about a trillion dollars worth of mining equipment here. We're not just going to abandon it. What? If it all goes pear-shaped, it's not them that lose a boat. It's okay, I understand. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Come to mention, why is there a Faraday cage on the base? It's the uh, mining equipment. It runs on nuclear fission. The Faraday cage has been lined with lead to act as a shelter in the event of a radiation leak. So, we are fighting an unknown homicidal force that has taken the form of your commanding officer, the cowardly alien, underwater in a nuclear reactor. And Great! I should know, so I'm going to pin that or something. <laughs> it all started with this ship. This is where the answer will be. This is a lot like a classic Who episode. What's happened to the stuff you've removed? This is for long haul flights. There should be a suspended animation chamber for the pilot right here. Plus, one of the power cells is missing. Power cell? Yeah. You can see the casing is in. What's the matter? She won't let me look inside the spaceship. She says it's not safe. I'm saying it's not safe out here. I imagine they're pretty valuable. What? I mean powerful. Those power cells, I imagine they're pretty powerful. Well, they can zap a vessel from one side of the galaxy to the other, so we take a while stab in the dark. And the missing one must still be out there. Yes, well, otherwise... Sorry, why is this man still talking to me? We haven't moved anything. There hasn't been time. So what have we got? Moran! 
dies, and then those things appear. They can walk through walls. They only come out at night. And they sort of see through. Holograms? They're ghosts. You actually poo-pooed the ghost theory. Yes, well, 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 there was no such thing as uh, socks or smartphones and badges until there certainly were. Besides, what else could there be? They're not holograms. They're not flesh avatars. They're not autons. They're not digital copies bouncing around the nethersphere. No, these people are literally, actually dead. Wow. This is it's amazing. I've never actually met a proper ghost. Moran was our friend. They could still be Gelf. The gods. Oh. Oh, right, you are. Uh. <laughs> yes, gods. I'm very sorry for your loss. <laughs> I'll do all I can to solve the death of your friend slash family member slash pet. <laughs> but don't you see what this means? Death. It was the one thing that unified every single living creature in the universe. And now it's gone. How can you just sit there? Don't you want to go out there right now, wrestle them to the ground and ask them questions until your throat falls out? What's death like? Does it hurt? Do you still get hungry? You miss being alive. Why can you only handle metal objects? Oh, I didn't know I noticed that. Okay. So, they'll try to kill you, blah, blah, blah. What does that matter? You come back. A bit murdery, sure, but even so. Calm down. Calm down. Watch Supernatural, Watch Doctor. Be back. Okay. Question one, what is a ghost? Question two, what do they want? Whoa, whoa, what's happening? Good evening, entry, night mode. That's not right, we're searching back into night mode again. This can't happen, no, no, no. Um, what's doing that? You're in trouble. Doctor, what's wrong? Must be the ghosts. That's why she was upset when we got here. Why? I don't understand. That's just what I was saying. If you live and you die, that's it. The ghosts are aberrations. A splinter of time in the skin. But on that, she wants to get away from you. Put the handbrake on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where do you think you're going? Out there, for the action is. Look, um. What? Oh, this is our fault. I like adventures as much as the next man. As the next man is a man who likes adventures. Even so, don't, don't go native. <laughs> what do you mean I'm not? Look, there's a whole dimension in here. But there's only room for one me. Wait, wait a second. You just raved about ghosts like a kid who had too much sherbet. Do you know what you need? You need a hobby. Oh, I really don't. Or even better, another relationship. Come on, you lot. Your, your bananas about relationships. You're always writing songs about them or, or going to war or getting tattooed. Doctor. I'm fine. I just felt that I, I, I had to say something. I know, and I appreciated it. Because I've got a duty of care. Which you take very seriously, I know. So can I stop now? Please, please do. <laughs> Skip the commercials. So far, I give this episode like a a ninety-seven. Only from Tums.
They're ghosts! It's always very exciting to have, you know, traditional horror movie or, or, or ghost story elements. Just ghosts, that was the idea. What, what if Doctor Who did ghosts? They only come out at night. Just a slightly skull-like alteration to the eyes and the fact you can... Cool, he's back. Man versus wild. Tuesday starting at eight. Attention, all crew. The drum switch labeled early, so grab provisions and make your way to the barrier cage. That you, Bennett? I went out looking for that missing power cell. Okay, contractually, it's a grey area, but. I reckon we can argue everything non-indigenous is an asset, and therefore... Ready? <laughs> We're meant to be in date mode! <laughs> be here. First line of defense and all. Yeah, I'm probably not suited though. Not much of a fighter, more of a bleeder. Richard, where have you been? Everyone's been looking for you. I'm sort of wet suit. Uh, where have you been? I thought it's okay if Richard's in here. Richard, you moron, grab your stuff, we're walking down early. In case I can't get this back into day mode. Is he alright? working out how to use the base against us. Altering the time settings so they can go about uninhibited, opening the airlocks and learning. And now there's three of them. Cass, what do we do? We abandon the base. Tops I can send down a whole team of Marines or Ghostbusters or whatever. Wait, wait. I can't force you to leave. So you can stay and do the whole cabin in the woods thing and get killed or drowned if you want but my first priority is to protect my crew we're coming back aren't we McDonald, yes we're coming back tell them we're abandoning the base on my orders top side top side this is lance corporal alice o'donnell from drum control over Drum control, this is Topside. We have received your message. Submarine on its way. Over. 
Repeat, top side over. Repeating the request for a rescue stop, it's two minutes away. Over. Top side, who did you speak to and when was this request made? Over. Top control, it was in Morse code, arrived maybe half an hour ago, said it was urgent, comms were down, the crewman was critically ill, full paramedic team requested. Over. Top side, this is the doctor. You know, security feature 710, Apple 00, you may be familiar with my work. Call back the sun. Doctor, why Call it back. We have a hazardous and undefined contagion on board. This base is now under quarantine. What did you do that for? Well, none of us sent the message, did we? So that means that the ghost sent him, which means they want that crew down here. Why would they do that? Well, I don't know, but I'm pretty certain it's not something an old form of boy band. Okay, we, we solved this on our own. The ghosts can only come out at night, so they change the base's time settings. Why? What's different at night? That's mainly atmospheric. The lights are dim, the noise from the engines is muffled. Something, something else. The diagnostics read. When the systems are checked, that stops at night to save power. What system specifically? Life support, the locks. They're electromagnetic. They have to be secured in case of flooding, so throughout the day they're checked one by one every few seconds. <sighs> Doctor, what do we do? Oh, no. Excellent work. Returning to base, to day mode. Shut up, what's happening? I really think so. Now put it back into night mode. What? We know nothing. We don't know what they want. That's what's getting us killed. Well, I won't run, not anymore. So, O'Donnell. Kindly put the base back into night mode. We want to know what these ghosts are after. We ask them. We're going to do the impossible. We're going to capture a ghost. Good evening. Entering night mode. Yeah, That's creepy. Hey, how's it going? Ben has got them moving in cars in position. God, Ben is going to run across the top of the T junction to your right about 10 seconds. All the ghosts towards you. Turn right. And then take second left. Hey! Hey, ghost! Not yet! Look, they're coming your way. Kyle's going to duck down to our left. We've got to keep the ghosts going on the same route they're on now. After about 50 yards on your left, there's a flood door. O'Donnell will close the door once you're through. I, I can hear them. No, don't let them see where you go. Hey! Yeah, this way! What? Moran and the mole guy are going after Clara. Clara, look out. Two ghosts are still in your case. Right behind you. We're beginning to think we should have let the guy stay on the plan. Clara, uh, there's a flood door at the end of the corridor. Around the corner to your right. We'll close it from here. Listen to me. You've got to get through that door before Moran and the other ghost sees you. Now you're as fast as you can! I'm really in my door! Now run, quickly! It's only... Oh God! It's only... It's coming through. It's coming through. We don't have a camera in there. Oh, no, 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 can you hear me? Can you hear me? 
of what's happening. Lun, can you hear me? Lun, Lun! Can you hear me? Lun! Lun, 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 what's happening? Lun! Lun, can you hear me? I'm okay. Cass, he's alive. Can you hear me? I'm okay. What, what's wrong with you? Why didn't I hurt you? Bennett, you're on again. Bennett, where are you? There. Oh God, look. Bennett, can you hear me? There are two ghosts just around the corner from you. Yes, thanks, I noticed. The Faraday case was across the intersection of down the corridor to your right. This last bit is down to you. Okay, so the good news is they aren't split up anymore. Good job! We need to talk. Sorry, chaps, just a hologram. You played a bit too rough. I'm, I'm fine, by the way, in case any of you were worried. Cass, are you seeing this? Sonic glasses, Wi Fi, locked in on screen B2. So she can't see them properly. The glass is too thick and they're too far away. Open the door. What? Doctor, you can't go in there. They will kill you. They don't have any weapons or access to any of the controls. They can't hurt me, so open the door. Take away your weapons and you're not so scary, are you? Like that, Cass? She says that saying the same thing. The same phrase, over and over. They're saying, the dark, the score, no, the sword, the for sale. No, the forsaken, the temple. What? Yeah, she's sure. The, the dark, the sword, the forsaken, the temple. Just that, over and over. Dark, sword, forsaken, temple. What does that mean? What are you telling me, big man? Bert, I need maps. I think I just worked out what our friend here is telling us. So what's your news? Uh, I got a job. Brian. Now that's more like it. What's in your wallet? They're coordinates. How can they be coordinates? The dark space. So whoever's following the coordinates knows they're going to another planet. The sword. Orion's sword. The sword, the three stars, although one is naturally a star, but the Orion Nebula hanging down from Orion's belt. But if viewed from back here, the Earth becomes the fourth bit of the sword. So, now we're down to a planet now, getting closer. The Forsaken. The Forsaken or Abandoned or Empty Town. See, it's a location. Beaming out to someone or something 
across the universe over and over. And every time they kill one of us... It strengthens the signal. Another ghost, another transmitter. Mm. Which is why they sent for that rescue, so... Get more people down here, kill them, make even more ghosts to beam out the coordinates. But why are they beaming out the coordinates? Is it a distress call? It could be. Well, a warning. Might even be a call to arms. It could mean, come here, they're vulnerable, help yourself. Wait a minute, though. Wait a minute, you had. You know what this means? It means that they're not a natural phenomenon. It means that someone is deliberately getting people killed, hijacking their souls, and turning them into transmitters. But what do the coordinates lead to, though? To us? To the ghost walk? Ah, what the coordinates are for. That is part of the answer to the other question you're all thinking. Really? Come on. None of you? Surely just being around me makes you clever by osmosis. What is the other question? The temple. The fourth part of the directions. What's the temple? Finally, I'm pulling teeth. This is the flooded military town. Shops, houses, town square, and this. A church? Whatever the coordinates are for, it's in that church. Find that, and your hop's given the jump to stop it. Wait, you're not uh, suggesting that... But we're safe now. The ghosts are in the cage. We can get out of here. No one has to stay. In fact, I would prefer it if you went. You all get in the way and ask ridiculous questions. But, you know, you have chosen to protect and serve. You have given yourself to science in the pursuit of knowledge. None of you have chosen anonymous or selfish lives. Go. A part of you will always wonder what would have happened if I'd stayed. How could I have helped? What would I have learned? I want you to go. But you should know what it is that you're leaving. Cass says we should go. But everything that happens here is her responsibility now. So she's going to say. So I uh, guess I should too. Well, oh, hurt me in. He wants to live forever anyway. Sorry. Um, have you gone insane? We can go home. They're ghosts, though. How can they be ghosts? Well, at least if I die, you know I really will come back and haunt you all. <laughs> It that was a short easy. little break. Oh, last commercial stop. Ten. Okay, the sub is approaching the town square. Right, which way is the church? North, northwest. That's water and Mars kind of technology. Gadget, gadget. What are you looking for exactly? Something that has the power to raise the dead and turn them into transmitters. I expect we'll know it when we see it. Wait, I found the church. That's it. Keep going. It's a suspended animation chamber from the spaceship. So the pilot could be in there. There's something inside there. But it's deadlock sealed. I can't open it. It should be the pilot. It should be. So why do I think it isn't? All questions. Everything I saw, just all questions. I have to go back to the beginning. We arrive, we see the ghosts. They don't kill us. They leave us here. They show us the spaceship. Then they try to kill us. I'm not 
call this why. Love, translate for me. Whenever I step outside, you are the smartest person in the room. So tell me, what's weird about this? I know that it's, it's all bonkers, but you know, when you think about it, one thing keeps snagging in your mind. What is it? markings on the inside of the spaceship. The markings on the inside of the spaceship, yes! Why? I don't think they're just words. They're not. They're magnets. Magnets? How? Well, a localized and manufactured electromagnetic field, to be precise. The dark, the sword, the forsaken, the temple. When we heard the coordinates for the first time, did anyone expect them not to be that? No, exactly. Me neither. It's like we already knew somehow. Like the words were already in us. So that writing is the coordinates? Everything we see or experience shapes us in some way. And these words actually rewrite the synaptic connections in your brain. They literally change the way you are wired. Clara, why don't I have a radio in the TARDIS? You took it apart and used the pieces to make a clockwork squirrel. And because whatever song I heard, first thing in the morning, I was stuck with. Two weeks of mysterious girl by Peter Andre. I was begging for the brush of death's merciful hand. Don't you see? These words are an earworm. A song you can't stop humming, even after you die. Wow. Okay. So, the spaceship lands here, the pilot leaves the writing on the wall, so whoever sees it when they die, they become a beacon of the coordinates, while he slash she slash it serves it in the suspended animation chamber. Waiting for his slash her slash its mates to make the message up. My god. Every time I think of the more extraordinary, it surprises me. It's impossible, I hate it, it's evil, it's astonishing. I want to kiss it to death. Attention, the battery phase immediately. Emergency protocols have been initiated. This safety message was brought to you by Vector for Petroleum, fuel for our future. No. The ghost tanker with the demagnetic is called computer malfunction. It's, it's, it's first priority is to keep the reactor cool so it's opening the hull doors and it's flooding the base. Cass says close the internal flood doors. That'll contain the water in the central corridor. Where's the TARDIS? On the other side. We need to get there. It's our only way out. Okay, we've got 30 seconds before the flood doors close. Sit tight, I'll come back for you. Just come over here in the TARDIS now. TARDIS won't go then. We'll bring the ghosts. You can't just leave us! Listen to me. I'm going back in time to when this basic landed. If I can understand why this is happening, I can stop them from killing anyone else. I can save you. Trust me, don't you can't. You're gonna go back in time. How do you do that? Shoot me well. You're sure they're not gonna hurt us? They can't get out of the Faraday cage. Back to before the flood. Are you sure the doctor won't just leave us here? Guys, look. This is how we roll. He's gonna go away, come back, and we'll have to listen to how he did it.
There's a Moran or Pritchard or the mole guy. How how'd they get out? No, I don't think it's any of them. I think it's the new folks. What does that mean? Well, it means that something happened in the past. It means that somebody else must have. This is the town before it flooded. I need to know. How you create these creatures? Nothing but words. Don't open the Faraday cages. Let the other go sell. This isn't about saving me. I'm a dead man. Look. So who's next? This is our land. Wow. I like this. This is a a, a new kind of vibe. creepy i like it it's clever makes you think all right thank you guys and uh click the links down below um they're gonna be to like uh the prequels to these episodes and stuff like that and basically subscribe like share and comment especially comment bye guys thank you for watching and uh see you next week in a new um exterior i'll be i'll be in my college room all right